Okay, so now to, to finish the kite, I'm gonna put uh, and make in front of your eyes uh, a bridle for the detox because I think it's uh, an interesting process. Maybe nobody can use it but us. But I would like to show you how we how we finish the, the making of the kite and give you some little explanations. So I'm gonna put together one of these ones. Uh, I took the rainbow one because I like the colors. And the first thing is, um, well, first things first. We used um, this a stand to, to put the kites together. Uh, that makes our lives uh, a lot easier to, to, mani to manipulate the kite and to put on the bridle, as you can see. But this is just a, a regular um, painter easel uh, that we just adapted uh, for our purposes and a little clip here. So to begin to put it together, first thing, is we choose the, the frame. In this case, it's a raised frame that is gonna be fitted into that one. And all we have to do is put the frame This is the first time a frame is attached to that kite. We just put the leading edge, as we, we have no connectors yet. So we just put it in place, then we mount the verticals. Both of them. And now to, to help us to attach the kite to the um, to the easel, we use one of our magnetic connectors, not connectors, uh, attachment. This little piece here, that uh, is one of the the tricks of the of the kite. We just put it on the center. I use uh, the, the same crochet needle to pass it, which is a little damaged now, but it's okay. So I just pass it and make a large head here, like that. Easy peasy, and that lives here. Uh, maybe you don't know it, but this is one of the tricks of the of the kite itself. There is that magnetic attachment, and that is here to allow you to to ground the kite. You put your spike through here, and when it's not in use, it just goes to the back. And also, you can there is another magnet here, so you can you can use it uh, with uh, with a tail or with something you want to attach to the kite. But for now, we will use it just to put the kite into the easel, okay? And now the kite is living here and stable. And now we begin with the process of making the making the bridle. Uh, so for making the bridle, I use my, my bridle stick. I have all the measurements I need uh, in here to cut. This is the, the beginning, and maybe you can find some useful ideas in here. Uh, this is my bridle stick, and there is uh, a few technical details here which are interesting. I have all the measures, there's the, the main the zero point is here, not on the top, but just that line. And you can see there are like uh, two lines, uh, two, uh, two, two parts. There's that big hole and that slit. And I will show you later why, why it's necessary. But from here, that's my zero. I have all the measurements I need from the bungees to the lead, to whatever the, the measures I need. The leading uh, lines and the main bridle here. I have here one quarter of my main bridle. And that's how I proceed to, to make the kite. We use um, this line. This is 0.6 millimeters. Very, very good quality Dyneema. Uh, Dyneema cord line. So I take some line out of it. And now I measure just one quarter of it. I get to here. I double it. And when I arrive here, that's the center of the bridle, very precisely. Even if I'm not taking real measurements, that's more precise than, than using a, a, measure, uh, a tape. So I just find the point, and here, in my, in my stick, I have a mark. From zero to that mark, this is seven centimeters that I know, but I don't need to measure them. And this is the center of the of the bridle and this has not yet been cut it's uh, still attached to the rest of the spool but i have the center i have the knot and i have my my reference for the second one for the second cut that i just line up and cut the same so this is my the first piece and this is the only one that i have a, a real measure the rest uh, are adjustable as I can show you in a minute. So now I'm gonna put it on the on the kite itself. I use my 
my tool and that's how I do it. Uh, I pass this from the back, I hook the bridle and without releasing I just pick up these two lines here. Right, let's see if I can show you. That's just to make it easier. It's just a large head. I pass one, but you have to pass it twice, and this is a little tricky. So what I do is I, I use the, the, the needle, I pass it through the loop, and then it is like this. I use it to feed the rest of the lines. It's a little tricky, but it works. It works when it works. It did that. Let me show this is the demo effect. It never happens unless you're filming it. I do like this. I pass it again to the loop. And uh, black over black is difficult to see, I'm sorry. But all you do is a double lux head here. And this is the easiest way we have found so far. Like this and like that. And here you can see we got a double lux head knot in here. So this is passed and stable in place. Okay, and this is the first part of the bridle. We just leave it here. 